Beloved, on April 14, 2018, in dreams, I was taken to a small church. It was an independent ministry because there those I saw confirmed this to me. I saw how they took the word of God lightly and also applied it to others instead of applying it to each one of them. It was inconceivable to see how so many ladies and gentlemen and young people hid to see and get dirty with the hidden sin that they practiced and still on top they pointed the neighbor. Then my companion said, abundant in self-knowledge, but few understood in its application. Hypocrites, am I not the one who knows and searches the heart? Asked this question. And he continued saying, repent and seek my face, because if not, I will come against you with anguish and sword, because you lack the understanding of salvation. Soon, very soon, you will seek me and will not find me. And after, it will be crying and gnashing of teeth. So after he finished speaking at that moment, I was taken to the second floor of that church. It was a somewhat dull place. But those who were there were overflowing with luxury, praising each other for earthly achievements. I also saw ladies and gentlemen there almost without clothes in mutual love. And I saw how the ladies had something written on their foreheads. And I got closer to read the inscription and it said procrastination. So I asked about this and my companion told me, come and I will show you. Then at that moment, we went down to the basement of the church. There was a darkness that I could not see anything. So then someone lit a dim candlelight and I could appreciate everything seen there before that was in the church of what I was seeing there on the second floor. But there they were scared. There they were almost dying at that moment. And that scene was terrible. And I couldn't see anymore. So I asked to get out of there. When we left he asked me, do you understand? Then I exclaimed, oh Lord, wretched of me, that I am lack of understanding. Then lifting his right hand to heaven, he said, there is no purity of spirit in them because they were emboldened against the Holy One of Israel. They changed his sayings. They undid his writings and they falsified the law and they say in their hearts, my soul is satiated with pleasures, and I am well without lack of anything, for I am free from Laodicea. In these moments, beloved, when hearing this, my ears were opened, and he continued saying, let's go up to the mountain, and let's get ready, because the end is near, and we should not walk in their ways. Then I saw them getting ready. They crossed. There was a mountain. So, in a few moments, I saw that something fell from the sky, which I can describe as a strong and great light, and it fell in many places. And there also, with those who went up the mountain, and everyone started screaming. Then at that moment, I saw that there was horror everywhere and my heart accelerated and I asked, what is happening? Then my companion answered me, fall to the first plague. And they received it. Their fate has been cast and their retribution has arrived. So I said, but what happened? Then it was indicated to me that they had seen the apostasy in all its peak. They left the system from it, but their heart failed to purify, they failed to die to self. Their mind had no room for the purification 
that only Christ can give, and they did not surrender to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Beloved, that scene was terrible. There are no words to describe how immensely sad this scene is. I could not conceive what I was seeing, but there it was, and although I wished it was another reality, it could no longer be changed. I was given an alert, which I will faithfully pass on to all of you. I was told in this way, Military in the Lord, do not look to the right or left. Do what you know you should do, and do not allow the enemy to entertain you. Be sober and jealous, and do not touch the unclean. Serve the Lord, and he will take care of your right. Leave your lasso to me, and I will fight it for you. Be attentive and see that I am God, and you will find rest for your souls. Take care of each other, and do not entertain in vain conversations, because this is for destruction. He who knows my voice follow me, but he who does not know, it is against me. Can man fight man, being both mortal and live? I tell you that man struggles with man because he does not know his interior and who dominates him, and he does not know yet that whoever dominates him is his owner and Lord, and this will lead him to salvation or perdition. Lacking in understanding that you do not recognize your Lord nor the hour of your visitation, and in one you perish without distinction. Why is your soul troubled? If you make my word vivid in you, there is no one who escapes my eye, and my children are delivered from the oppressive executioner. There is no understanding in them, only vile conspiracy. Do not fear, little flock, he said, rather cry for your adversary, for my eyes is on him to move him like the wind to the shaft. Live in holiness, prayer and supplication, and I will give you rest. My heart, beloved brothers, rejoiced when I heard those words, and there was no more trouble or fear in me. At that moment, with a grateful heart and a calm mind, I asked God for his obedient people on the broad face of the earth. And at that moment, I woke up. When I woke up and meditated on all this that had happened, I was given a text, Nahum chapter 2. Beloved, let's fight. Let's fight for our salvation. Let's not look to the right or to the left. Let's follow Christ Jesus. He is the one who gives us the balance in all the things so that we may obtain victory in his name. May the Lord bless you all.